Well, after a windy couple of days, looks like those winds will finally calm down later tonight, but the temperatures are going to be going down as well. We're looking at widespread 20s here by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, but warmer weather is showing up on the seven day forecast, including Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, which I have a forecast that I think you'll really like here. Temperatures, though, have dipped down into the mid 30s, even some low 30s showing up, as I showed you earlier, Mount Airy down to 32. And we're looking at 34 for Odenton and also up towards uh, Rising Sun. So everybody getting down to the 30s here for tonight and not seeing as many areas with high wind gusts right now. We had some gusts over 30 to 35 this afternoon once again, even with the cloud cover that moved in. But notice that the winds are starting to calm down. So on east and down to 24, but looking at many locations with gusts into the teens right now. So that makes it feel like the mid to upper 20s and lower 30s out there. So it's going to be a chilly night with the wind or temperatures overnight tonight again. Falling back into the upper teens and lower 20s out towards western Maryland, mid to upper 20s elsewhere there, un elsewhere there under a mostly clear to partly cloudy sky. And we're expecting a good deal of sunshine over the next couple of days. Not much coming down the pike headed our way. The big storm systems that we have to worry about. And kind of an early look at what to expect for travel this weekend heading towards the uh, Christmas holiday. Looks like uh, not going to be seeing any major issues across the area. There is one storm system we're going to watch in the midsection of the country, but that one right now does not look like anything what we had to deal with this past weekend. That's going to be for areas out towards our west. So future cast shows plenty of sun for tomorrow. Highs again, mid to upper 40s and lower 50s across the area, depending on your location. Most, most of us, though, should stay in the 40s. And then as we go into your uh, Thursday afternoon, kind of the same story. This will be ahead of another cold front that's going to come through the area. Now, this front is going to be a dry front, so we're not expecting any rain with it as it moves through. But there will be some clouds later Thursday into Friday morning as that front does push through the area. And that's going to knock our temperatures back a few degrees on Friday afternoon. So instead of the upper 40s to near 50, we'll be in the low 40s for highs coming Coming up on your Friday. Again, for Queen Anne's County here for tomorrow, we're looking at temperatures into the mid 40s. Again, from up towards uh, Crumpton all the way down towards uh, Church Hill, Graysonville, Stevensville, Roman Coke getting down into the mid 40s. Here's your first alert seven day forecast. Skies again, mostly sunny next couple of days. We'll go at 49.50 for a high here for the next couple of afternoons. Lows dropping down into the 20s and 30s. Warming up though by Christmas Eve, high of 53, 52 on Monday, but most importantly, staying dry with rain moving back in on Tuesday. Back to you. Thank, Thank you, Derek. You.